Ladies and gentlemen, he is so precious, I just call him Super Doc. And in fact, he's so precious that I gently packed him in my carry-on luggage on the plane to make sure he wouldn't get lost. So let's get off our chairs and put your hands together for the one and only Dr. Jimmy Gutman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bonjour, hello, hola. To hundreds of thousands of people, more than the, we see in the room today. You'll see on the slide behind me. Yeah, that's me. I'm always so grateful to find out I'm not wearing the same tie as in the slide. This slide here, you can tell that what I'm going to talk about are important discoveries. Now let me take that back. Not important discoveries, great discoveries. In fact, world-changing discoveries. What do I mean by a world-changing discovery? Something that is so important that you need to take all the old books, throw them away, and start to write new books. Let me give you a couple examples. Let me back up. There you see the guy in the bottom left-hand corner, Van Leeuwenhoek, a couple centuries ago started playing around with a few glass lenses. The telescope had already been invented and he wasn't interested in looking at things, big, big things, a million miles away. He wanted to look at really tiny little things. So instead of looking at the moon and the stars, he took his little lens device and looked at a drop of pond water. And to his amazement, it was filled with living creatures that we had never seen before. A whole new universe opened up. And from that day forward, we have our field of microbiology and infectious disease and all the things that we know that keep you and I alive. And we're still learning about it. And this universe that he discovered was so large, I'll give you an example. The amount of bacteria in the world outweighs all of the creatures that you and I could see with our regular eyes. There's more, can you compare humans and dogs and cats and birds and fish and trees and flowers? You put them all together, there are more bacteria, viruses and parasites, a million times more than the creatures you can see with your eyes. So we're talking about a universe of infinitesimally small things we can't see that are around us all the time. Bacteria. And speaking of bacteria and viruses and parasites, let's talk a minute about our CEO, Mauricio Domenzing. Well, that came out a little bit funny. <laughs> when you look at Mauricio, do you think that you're looking at a human being? That also came out funny, didn't it? When you look at Mauricio, what you're actually looking at is not just human cells. There are a trillion more bacterial cells that make up our CEO than there are human cells. A trillion times more bacterial cells than human cells. I guess Mauricio, tonight uh, you won't be getting that many handshakes and kisses from people. 
Let me look at something else. We'll go back to that slide. Um, just about a hundred years ago, two brothers playing around with bits of pieces of wood and metal built a machine that could fly a man 40 yards hundred years ago. It didn't take but 50 years before you could build a machine the size of a small village and fly 600 people across the world in a matter of hours, 50 years. Okay, so I've been up here for about three minutes now. You're wondering, Dr. Cutman, where are you going with this? I'll get you a little bit closer. Just about 50 years ago, Watson and Crick discovered and described DNA. You all know what DNA is. DNA is this little substance inside of every single one of your cells. Every cell has DNA and what the DNA is, it carries the code for everything that you are. The DNA determines how tall you're gonna be, how heavy you're gonna be, the color of your eyes, even your personality. All this is coded into our DNA. And after a bit of time, we started to be able to read the DNA, to decode it. Think of it like a computer program. We actually started taking bits of DNA and figured out how to read it. And just about the same time that Immunitech started, going back a couple decades now, a huge project was started to decode the human genome, to be able to read the DNA code that makes up a human being. How long do you think it took to do that? It took 15 years to decode human genome, 15 years. Now, we can take out our cell phone and for about a hundred bucks, order a kit from Ancestry.com or 23andMe. They'll send you a little vial, you spit into it, and two weeks later, you'll get your DNA red sitting in front of you. We can now read the code of DNA, not all of it, but most of it. And what does this mean? This means that we could predict in the future your likelihood of whether you're going to be resistant to disease, whether you're going to be immunodeficient, whether you're going to have problems with neurodegeneration. We're able to predict that. We're able to predict that. Okay. Now, I guarantee you, and you heard this here today, that in the next 10 years, your health professional is going to get a sample from you, send it off to the laboratory, and based on the results of that sample, he or she will be able to tell you what you need to eat, what foods are good for you, what dietary interventions you need, what medications are going to work for you, what medications will know, what medications won't work for you. He'll be able or she'll be able to work out a plan, dietary and medical plan, specifically geared to your own DNA. Okay. Okay. In less than 10 years, I guarantee it, in less than 10 years. So now we can get your DNA and we can read it and we can make predictions and we can set up a nutritional plan for you what's missing from the picture what else do you think we should be looking at this code i heard it well not yet by the way we can we can do that can we change the code Okay, now this is where it really gets interesting, and this is why I want you to look at the slides now. 
Can we change the code? Okay, this appears in all of our textbooks on genetics. So you see that strand of DNA? It's this long, windy strand. And if we were showing you the real size, that would wrap around this room many times. And inside there, you see those bands? Those carry the computer code or the genetic code of the color of your eyes, whether you're going to be happy or sad to a certain degree. This code is the hand of cards that you're dealt with. So you can influence them a little bit. For example, when I was born, if I would have eaten really well and exercised and did everything correctly, instead of being five foot eight, I could have been five foot ten. Okay. But this code is relatively fixed. There's no way, no matter what I did, where I would be six foot four. So what you see here on the code, this results, that code results in that person. That's what makes that person. Okay. This is what we've been taught. This is what's in the books. This is what's new. Look at this, something called epigenetics, not genetics, but epigenetics. Epi in Latin means on top of. So there's something actually on top of your code. And you see those little balls sitting on top of the DNA? Pay close attention. That's an epigenetic switch okay. an epigenetic switch and watch what happens when I turn that switch on watch very carefully I turn the switch on and look what happens to the code after the switch you see I've actually changed the code of the DNA, I've altered the program, and because I've altered the program, boom, I have altered the result. This exists today. So epigenetics, maybe some of you have heard this before, but most people haven't heard the word epigenetics before. I guarantee you in the next couple of years, you're going to see this word everywhere. So I'm going to teach you another new word. You ready for another new word? You've got epigenetics down pat. The next new word is the NR. F2 gene. Again, how am I going to remember that? You won't have to remember it because it's going to be on the internet, it's going to be in your magazines, it's going to be everywhere in the next few years. The NRF2 gene. What is the NRF2 gene? It's one of the first genes that we learned how to turn on and turn off. And how do we turn that switch on? We need what's called an NRF2 activator. We need to be able to flick that switch, or in the case of an iPhone, move that switch to make it green. So we need an NRF2 activator. And what does the NRF2 gene do? Get this, this is, this is very, very new. If you activate this gene, you make all of your antioxidants work more efficiently. You can clap now if you want. And because if you activate your NRF2 gene, not only will you be able to more efficiently use the vitamins and supplements 
that you take. More importantly, you're going to get many more miles out of the fresh produce. And so some of us are lucky, some of us are rich enough to be able to afford this, but most people don't get enough of this beautiful, multicolored plant life that is essential for good health. And when you take the NRF2 gene and you activate it, you can get more miles out of these substances. And when I say more miles, with a good NRF2 switch, you can actually improve your antioxidant function for about three days. Okay? And what is a good NRF2 switch? One of the major ones that we've discovered is a molecule called sulforaphane. Sulforaphane is a substance that appears in broccoli. So your grandmother was right. Broccoli is good for you. Everybody knows that broccoli is good for you. Now we know why. Because we can take broccoli and take a, a specific substance called sulforaphane that is an NRF2 activator. The most important NRF2 activator is, and the reason why I know that is that I've actually sat with the, dis, the Discover, the team of researchers at John Hopkins University who discovered this. Sulforaphane is the way to go. So let's do a quick review. Most of you know this. How does Immunical work? in our body. Well, we take our cells, which is a glutathione machine, and when we feed them the precursors, the building blocks, these building blocks go into the cell, and the cell realizes that they're there, and it starts to manufacture glutathione. Now, you all know that, okay? That's how Immunical works. But when you look at the precursors, the other two amino acids are very easy to find. You could find it in a McDonald's hamburger, you could find it anywhere else. The one that's very, very, very hard to get in your diet is what's called bonded cysteine. And this is why you need Immunical. Okay, so the Immunical gives you this. So let's go over it again. Now you may have noticed there's a little switch there that we didn't talk about. This is how we tie it into epigenetics. You take that switch, watch what happens. You turn the switch on and you end up making a more powerful, more effective glutathione. Imagine that. Five years ago, I had no clue. This is all brand new. This is spectacular. So now we, Immunitech, are the only company in the world that can give you both the building blocks for glutathione and give you the NRF2 switch activator so your glutathione is even more efficient. Okay, I've only got like a minute left, but this is very, very important. I wanna to talk to you about the effect of nutrition on our lives. And I'm gonna do that in two minutes. Okay, here you see two kids. One kid is born into a poor family. The other kid is born into a rich family. Okay? The poor family struggles a little bit to good, good food, or the rich family might have good food. Now you take these two kids, same two kids, okay? And for breakfast, they have a kid's meal. And then for lunch, they have a bag of chips. And for supper, uh, maybe some donuts. And then in a snack, who knows what else. And all you give these kids is this junk food. Okay, so rich kid, poor kid. You give them this for 30 years. Do you think that there's going to be a difference in what these kids look like 30 or 40 years later? Will it be different? Here they are, 40 years later. One of them is in deep trouble, and the other one is still on the cell phone. Why? Why? Because it's not just about what you're eating. Okay, understand this, the critical point. It's not just what, about your, what, you're, what you're eating, it's about what you're not eating. 
So the rich kid's family has been able to get good food. So in between his hamburger, he's able to get a nice plate of broccoli or something else that's good to his health. And this brings us to the, what's in these foods? Phytochemicals, these are plant nutrients and polyphenols and this antioxidants and trace elements and all these other very, very important things that we find in fresh fruits and vegetables that are going to make a difference. What we call superfood. And in the last few years, you're seeing superfood everywhere because it's really, really hard to eat well. Even if you have access to these beautiful fruits and vegetables, they're not the same as they used to be when I was a kid. And your doctors will tell you, make sure you eat as many colors because each one of these colors represents a different type of nutrient. So the aspect of superfoods is critical. So imagine if you were able to get your hands on these superfoods and you were able to get your hands on an NRF2 activator to make those superfoods work even better and you were able to take Immunical. Imagine how spectacular that would be. Thank you very much. Vivir en el mundo de hoy nos expone al estrés, a la mala alimentación, a la falta de ejercicio, a las toxinas y a la contaminación. Es por eso que fortalecer nuestras defensas con antioxidantes es extremadamente fundamental para mantenernos saludables. Imagínese si pudiera protegerse mejor a usted mismo optimizando sus antioxidantes. Llegó el momento de optimizar. Inspirados en la ciencia epigenética, los investigadores han descubierto cómo encender y apagar ciertos genes. Uno de esos genes es conocido como NRF2. Y cuando lo encienden, hará que sus antioxidantes funcionen mejor. Los científicos de Immunotech han desarrollado un producto revolucionario que ayudará a encender ese gen esencial NRF2. Exclusivo de Immunotech. Nuevo Immunocal Optimizer. Impulsado por nuestro exclusivo NRF2 Catalyst. Su fórmula con sulforafano, procedente del extracto de semillas de brócoli, el ingrediente que más ha sido respaldado científicamente por activar el gen NRF2. Optimizer es el complemento perfecto para Inmunocal. Inmunocal ofrece los tres elementos básicos para la producción de glutatión, el maestro antioxidante de su cuerpo. Al combinar Optimizer con Inmunocal, el glutatión brindará mejores resultados, siempre y cuando tome la misma cantidad de Inmunocal. Además, Optimizer puede tomarse solo para dar un impulso a todos sus antioxidantes. Optimizer ahora está enriquecido con más superalimentos. Más de 50 frutas y verduras orgánicas proporcionan los nutrientes esenciales y aumentan su energía. Le encantará el delicioso sabor a bayas cítricas, endulzado naturalmente. Además, con su presentación práctica en sobrecitos, es muy fácil de mezclar. Optimizer intensifica todos los antioxidantes, incluyendo el glutatión. Optimizer estimula su energía. Optimizer contiene ingredientes que han sido estudiados clínicamente. ¡Viva mejor! Optimice sus antioxidantes. Inmunocal Optimizer con NRF2 Catalyst. Exclusivo de Inmunotech. La ciencia de vivir mejor.